Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on whatever we have studied, let us write, let us try to write these numbers in no, Roman numerals. 12. So how would you write 12? This would be 10 plus 2. How do you write 10? This is 10 plus 2. Now once you arrive at this symbol, just make sure that all the rules are followed. None of the rules are like, you know, ignored. 55. So 55 can be written as 50 plus 5. So 50 is L, 5 is V. So this is how 55. 73. So that can be written as 70 plus 3. So 70. What is 70? 70 is 50 plus 20. So basically 50 is L, 20 would be X, X and 3 would be 1, 2, 3. So this is how you can write 73. So let's look at few more numbers. 121. So 121 can be written as 100 plus 21. Now this 100 plus 21 can be written as 100 plus 20 plus 1. So what is 100? 100 is C, 20 is X, X and 1 is I. So this is 121. 501. So this can be written as 500 plus 1. So what is 500? It is D and 1 is I. So D, I is 501. 103. So 103 can be written as 100 plus 3. So 100 is C, 3 is 1, 2, 3. 1569. This can be written as 1000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 9. What have I actually done? I have actually expanded this number. So 1 is at the thousands place. So 1 is multiplied by 1000. 5 is at the hundreds place. So it is multiplied by 100. 6 is at the tens place. So multiplied by 10. And 9 is at the units place. Therefore it is multiplied by 1. So 1000 is represented by capital M. So you want to add 500 to it, therefore you write D on the right hand side. You want to add 60 to it. Now what will be 60? So 60 is nothing but 50 plus 10. So 50 is basically L and 10 would be X. And now you want to add 9 to it. So 9 is IX. So this would be 1569. So let us look at yet another example of say 390. So how would you write it in Roman numbers? So 390 can be written as 400 minus 10 because it is closer to 400. So 400 minus 10 or you can also write it as 300 plus 90. Now let's see which one would be a better option. Now 400 minus 10. So 400 is written as CD because D is 500 and C is 100. So 500 minus 100. So that is 400 minus 10. So that means X to be written on the left hand side. So this is one option. The other option is 300 plus 90. Now how do we write 300? 300 is 100 plus 100 plus 100. So it will be C, C, C. That is 300 plus 90. How do we write 90? 90 is 100 minus 10. So this is how we write 90. So 90 is written on right hand side of 300. So that is another way. So do you think we can write it like this? We can't because as per the last rule, we learned that X can occur before C only. It cannot occur before C and D. So this is not the right way. So the right way of writing 390 is this. So in this fashion, we can write any number in the Roman system. So all you need to remember is the important symbols like 1, 10, 50, 100, 500. So these you need to remember. And once you remember these and the rules, I'm sure you'll be able to write any number in its Roman form. So with this, we have reached towards the end of this lesson where we have learned a lot about numbers. We have learned how to deal with larger numbers, how to name larger numbers, how to write them in appropriate way, how to estimate their sum, product and difference and also about Roman numerals. So practice a lot of questions, uh, focus on the concepts, try to understand and then uh, solve questions. 
So I hope that this lesson would have helped you. See you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.